As Ronald Reagan once said, I did not leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left me. Uh, there is a, a movement going on online called Walk Away, in which people are talking about why they are fleeing the Democratic Party en masse. Um, <clears throat> as I've told you guys before, my body is kind of conditioned to not sleep during the dead of night, and I think that's because, you know, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared right now, um, in particular, given a certain story that's uh, going around the internet, a certain local story that I know has got to be directly related to my situation, as does my neighbor down the street, who, um, who I owe the money to, who was very kind and made sure I had my medical cannabis for a very long time. He knows exactly how this big story that is circulating relates to my deal, and it's a scary deal, folks. Listen, this walk away movement, people are posting videos online about why they're leaving the Democratic Party. This young woman was just on Twitter. She's, she's pro-gay gay marriage. Uh, she's, she's everything I am, and she's the last person you would expect to become a Republican. She talks about um, uh, Democrats being caught doing horrible things and then covering it up and lying about it, and the media helping, helping them cover it up. This is a millennial woman, folks. Um... I'm not, I don't want to get triggered and start screaming, but when I think about what the Quad City Times is doing to me, ignoring my story, they would definitely report a story like the Fitzpatrick story under normal circumstances. They're covering it up. And whoever this cocky little young arrogant, whatever he is running the show over there, I mean, it's frightening to me. Um, you can laugh all you want if you don't believe in deep state. That young man is deep state all the way. And I'm here to tell you that the Democrats in this town are deep state all the way. And I don't think the FBI has been in town for, for fun. Anyway, I'm not going to go down this road. Um, I left the Democratic Party because I was locked up on no charges at all for reporting human trafficking to two dirty cops. A week later, I was in the Rock Island County Jail. My congresswoman was in there. I heard her saying things. I've received no explanation for this. She was my friend for 30 years. Her husband is the appointed sheriff. I have known Jerry for 30 years. I have received no explanation whatsoever. Their excuse is that I was yelling at Amber Ridge. I have said all along my food was poisoned. What do you know? We now know that my house was occupied by a tattoo neck. Um, who would have had a key to the house because ha dad had dementia, never changed the keys. I said all along I was poisoned. I felt like uh, I was on meth that day, and we all know I was not doing meth. I was taking care of my dad, and I was completely 100% stone sober. However, I had just fired my AA sponsor for the outrageous, bizarre things he used to say, like apologize to your brother. Um, look, folks. It's over the top. Augustan is dirty. The city of Rock Island is dirty. The Rock Island Police Department is dirty. The county of Rock Island is dirty. There's a lot going on in the town right now that relates to my situation, and people know I'm not safe. I'm, I'm, I haven't even gotten an apology. I've received no victim's compensation. I'm selling all my items so that I can remain medicated and not have a heart attack out of fear and anger. So, so that's why I left the Democratic Party. Jerry and Sherry Bustos are why I left the Democratic Party, without a doubt. So I want to give props to Sherry, because Sherry, you know as well as I do, I was the model, model radical liberal homosexual, and now I am a MAGA loyalist for whatever, thanks to you and your husband. So that's why I left the Democratic Party, everyone. My name is David Heights. I'm the former executive news editor of The Advocate Magazine, 1997-98, and that's why I walked away.